Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this chunky rib stitch beanie. I will be showing you the adult size pattern, but if you go to the blog, I will have the sizing from your little tiny baby all the way up to large adult. The yarn that I used for this pattern is Brava Bulky Weight yarn. This is a bulky weight number five and it is 100% acrylic. If you go to the description box, I'll have a link on where you can purchase this yarn from We Crochet, and they have a wide range of colors to choose from, but I'll be showing you the hat today in Dove Heather. You'll need two hook sizes for this pattern, a six millimeter and a 5.5 millimeter. This one here is my Polaris Streamline from Furls Crochet, and this one here is a brand new hook. It is called Tinsel. So I'll have a link in the description box on where you can purchase the hooks with a coupon code. I'll be attaching a faux fur pom-pom to the top of my hat, and this is a snap style, also a customized tag, and this is a 1.5 inch square if you're curious as to the size that I'm using. I like to use a little bit of embroidery thread for that. For doing, um, for attaching the snap and sewing on the tag, I just use a little um, sewing needle, but you'll also need a yarn needle for bulky weight yarn as well. So the first section of our hat where we do our slip stitched ribbing is worked from the side across. So this is what your hat's gonna look like before we start to put it together. We'll put the hat together and then we're going to do a join as you go ribbed band that will be folded over and we'll cinch the top of the hat. So for this first part, we're gonna be starting with the larger hook, so our six millimeter crochet hook and you're going to leave a long tail. And doing that just allows us to use that tail to cinch in the top of the hat when we're finished. So just make sure you, you leave a nice tail to do that. And then we'll make a slip knot and put that on the hook. So for our adult size, we'll be chaining out a total of 27. Now we'll be working a double crochet in the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, but I want you to twist your work so that you can see the back humps of the chain. We're gonna work into those instead of the back loop of the chain. So one, two, three, turn. You can see that bump, back bump right there. So we'll yarn over, going through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we'll go through the back humps of each chain across. So we're working across a total of 17 double crochet stitches. So count as you go a total of 17. So I'll work that across and then I'll meet you up. So now there should be eight chains left. The next four chains, we're gonna work a half double crochet. So I've worked 17 in doubles. Now we'll do four and half doubles. So one, two, three, four. Then I'll work single crochets in the last four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now how this will work, the hats work from the side, side across. This will be a little bit more narrow at the top of the hat and wider to the bottom of the hat. So that's why every time we work the double crochet row, we're going to only do 17 double crochets four half double crochets and four single crochets. Now we'll chain one and turn. 
I'm now to the wrong side of my work and this is the row that will work the linked slip stitches across to add that really nice ribbed stitch. So our first stitch will be worked in a single crochet and then we'll work linked slip stitches across to the last stitch and we'll work a single crochet in the last stitch. So to work our linked slip stitch, we're going to go through the same stitch as the single crochet, pulling up a loop. We'll go right into the next stitch. We're going to pull up a loop, but take that loop, pulling it through the two loops on the hook. Let's go through that again. So we're going down through the same stitch, pulling up a loop, go through the next stitch, pulling up a loop, taking that loop and pulling it through the two loops on the hook. So we're linking these two stitches together and we're doing a slip stitch. So go through, go through the next stitch, pull through the two loops on the hook. And just try not to do that too tight. You don't wanna distort your work too much. I just try to keep that stitch nice and loose as I go along. So I will work this all the way to the end and then we're going to do that single crochet in the final stitch. Coming up to the end and in that last stitch we're working a single crochet. You should have a total of 25 stitches across. We're going to turn. Now we're to the right side of our work. You can see that ribbing that's starting to pop up right here. Now we're going to do a stacked double crochet in the first stitch. So we're going through the back loop only. We're going to make a single crochet. So go through the back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Now look at these two loops right here. We're going to pierce right through them, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we've stacked single crochets on top of one another and this will be our first stacked double crochet. So instead of chaining and working a double crochet, we've just made it all in one here and it's not gonna leave any gapping, so it's a nice edge. Now in the back loops, I want you to make sure that you turn your work so you are looking at the stitch and work a double crochet across. Now remember we work 17 in total so that includes the first stacked. So we'll work 17 and then we do four half doubles, four singles. So I will work that across and meet you up. Okay so I've worked across 17. Now I'll do four half doubles. One, two, three, four, and then I'll do four singles. One, two, three, four. So now what we're going to do is repeat row two and three across. So we're going to do that until we have a total of 37 rows. So if you need to go back and rewatch the video for row two and three, you can just rewind and keep watching. You're just going to continue working that all the way across, basically until the hat is wide enough to go around our head. So I've already completed this is what it's going to look like. So we've already completed working my 37 rows. It's really easy if we just count by twos, going to our ribbed up stitch. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 6, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. And our last row is 37. So 17 doubles, four half doubles, and four singles. Okay, so now what we're going to do is fold the hat so that the wrong sides are facing. I'm going to chain one. I'm gonna line the edges up of my hat and I'm gonna come across here 
to the first stitch, I'm going to go through it, coming back and going through the last stitch, and we're going to slip stitch this together. So now we're in a better position to keep working through each stitch down. So because we worked in that back hump, see how we have those nice two loops to work under? And then we work under those loops. So we should have all those loops there on the hook, pull it through, make a slip stitch. And we're just gonna continue to work through each stitch to slip stitch the hat together. And then it's going to really seamlessly join this. This slip stitched edge here is gonna look just like this ribbing so that you can hardly tell that there's a join. Okay, so I'm gonna continue that and I'll meet you down at the bottom. Okay, so I've worked all the way down and you can see if I fold that, how that just blends in so nice. What I'm gonna do at this point is chain one and we're now going to single crochet around. This is the bottom of the hat. This is the top of the hat. It's not cinched in tons by doing the single crochets, but it definitely is smaller at the top than it is the bottom. So we have this tail that we will use to close that, the top of the hat up. But what we'll do now is work around the hat in single crochets. We want a total of 56 stitches and what you'll be doing for every double crochet row here, we want two single crochets and then for every um, slip stitched row, we'll do one. So for two rows, we have three stitches. So one, two, and three. One, two, and rather than going through that big hole, I'm just choosing to go through here instead, just so it doesn't really make a big gap. So that's what I'm gonna do all the way around. Now we're not adding anything here at the end. You should be ending in this double crochet row here. So count that you have 56 stitches. It should work out um, all the way around. So just keep working in this manner. So I usually just kind of count um, one, two, and then three when I'm doing this row. And then I double check that I do have the 56 stitches that I need. Okay, so I have a total of 56 stitches. I'm going to change over to my smaller hook. I'm gonna slip stitch in the first single crochet to join. And now we're going to begin the join as you go ribbed band. So I want a total of 12 stitches for my band. So I'm gonna chain out a total of 13. Okay, so I have 13 stitches. Put that over here. Now in the second chain from the hook, we'll work a single crochet and work single crochets down the chain. So you have a total of 12 single crochet stitches. Okay, so once you've worked across the chain, your 12 stitches, you're going to skip that first stitch right here you're going to slip stitch into the next two. Now we're going to turn our work. You want to look at your stitch so you see again those stitches because we're going to be working in the back loop. We're going to skip over our two slip stitches and then work single crochets through the back loop only. And it's always a good idea to just keep track of your stitch count. Make sure that you stay on track with 12 stitches. Oh, 
Okay, we'll chain one and turn. And then we'll work single crochets through the back loop only down to the base. And at the base, we'll slip stitch into the next two. And we're going to keep repeating this. We're just going to work, turn, skip those two slip stitches, work back up, work down, and keep slip stitching every two stitches around. Now our last, when we get to the last one, you should be slip stitching into only one. And we're going to end with our yarn up at this end. Okay, so I am gonna continue working this around. This is such a quick, easy project. It's a great gift. And this hat's gonna keep you nice and warm over the winter season. So chain one and turn. I'm gonna keep working back down, working around the hat till we have the band completely finished. Work that band off camera, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna show you how to close up the top of the hat while we're here. So I'm going to take my yarn needle for bulky yarn. Now you could do a single crochet in every, every other row around and then close it, but I'm gonna just completely skip that all together and I'm just going to go through the slip stitch rows. So you'll see this bump right here. Just piercing my needle through. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. So once you get all the way around, you're just gonna pull your hat. You're gonna see it's not gonna wanna fully close. So all I'm gonna do is just continue to weave around that opening. And the more you weave, the more it's going to close in. So I'm just gonna keep doing some additional weaving and then once I have that the hole closes up nice and tight I'll weave back in the opposite direction you can see it's pretty much closed up there now okay and then to make sure it's secured you're going to go back you can always go back the other way again we just want to make sure that this the top does not come undone. And at that point, you could leave the hat completely like this if you're maybe making this for um, a guy, like they may not want the pom-pom. I know sometimes my husband and son don't want the pom-poms, so it would look fine just like that for them. But then if you do want a pom-pom, we can sew this to the top of the hat. And I'm just gonna do this now while we're here. And it's nice to get, I'm maybe just gonna use some white if you have some thinner uh, embroidery thread in gray would be great, but I'm just gonna use, I have some white here. The yarn will be way too thick to try to weave through this. So you just need some embroidery. I usually keep different colors of embroidery thread on hand for sewing tags and little, little things like this. So you just go around and sew your snap to the top of the hat. Okay, so I just knotted that and trimmed it and you can snap your pom-pom to the top. Now I like to take a blow dryer and fluff up the pom-pom once it's, you can even do it like once it's on the hat, makes it a little easier. 
they can. Okay, so there's the pom-pom, but I'm gonna keep working on my band and then I'm gonna meet you back up just to show you how to slip stitch it together and then we'll add on the tag. Okay, so I've worked my band all the way around. I'm gonna chain one and place the band together. Now we're gonna slip stitch it. I'm gonna go through the back loop across to the starting chain and slip stitch. Work through each stitch, going through the back loop only and across. Okay, once you've slip stitched all the way across, we can fasten off. Use your yarn needle and weave in your tail. Okay, so I like to keep the seam now to the back. Even though once you fold it, you can't even tell. Okay, so now you can either add your tag this is a one and a half inch square tag, or you can add this style as well. Add a leather, um, add your leather rivet, and you can also get these where you sew them on as well. So really whatever your preference. But I'm gonna add this style. So I'm going to use some embroidery thread. And then I have a fine needle, so they're just a sewing needle. A very small yarn needle. Okay, and I'm gonna pop this up through. Okay, so you're just weaving in and out. I usually pop it up through and then go through the hole because it's sometimes hard to stick it right up through the hole. Okay, so I'm gonna work that all the way around. Okay, so once you get all the way around, I just knot, knot it on the back. Or you could weave those tails if you wanted to. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. You can go to the description box and the link for the blog post and the links to my pattern shops to purchase the pattern will be available there. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.